Long Branch Wild Turkey review. I'm a little confused because I've had this before. It's been a few years. Um, we bought this for uh, our, our blind tasters to do, so that's why there's a little bit missing out of it. But I could have sworn, unless I'm hallucinating, that Matthew McConaughey's name used to be on here. I'm pretty, pretty certain of that. So I don't know what the story is behind that. Maybe he was a collaborator or something like that. But anyway, this is 43% uh, alcohol, so 86 proof. I do remember, what I recall of this, I remember liking it. Um, and that's it. So uh, we'll kind of go in blind with uh, trying to figure out what some of these notes taste like and give this guy a score. And speaking of Matthew McConaughey, I know that handsome son of a gun. Uh, I know what you're thinking right now. The swag is dripping off of you, dude. I know. About to head to a networking meeting. Um, I do own a marketing company, so trying to land some deals so we can buy some more stuff for you guys. <laughs> you just got to keep living, man. L-I-V-I-N. Okay. So sometimes you got to dress up a little bit. Um, Long Branch. This says here, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey with Oak and Texas Mesquite Charcoal Refined. So... Uh, that makes sense if Matthew McConaughey is involved in this. Maybe he's not anymore. I just see Eddie's name on here. So let's pop this open and get a little pour here. Maybe I'll do a little extra today. Networking, I'll lube up a little bit, you know? Okay. Decent color, copper tones I like. I may have poured a little too much. Oh well, um, like light copper tones. So let's nose it. Ooh, that smells good and very sweet. Very sweet, kind of a. Um, it's actually kind of classic. Your your holy trinity. I'm getting the caramels, the vanillas, the oak. Kind of like a. A hint of charcoal in there, which makes sense. Charcoal refined. I tend to like the charcoal, by the way. Um, and it almost kind of balances that into like a toffee flavor or toffee smell, I should say. So, it smells good. Cheers. Mm. This is good. Good, good, good. Very sweet. Um, tastes a little bit different than it smells. Almost has a little bit of a fruitiness to it. Um, paired with the, the classics that I explained. First sip is never a good judge. Let's go in for another one. Yeah. Kind of like a, almost like a little oranginess to it, but you can definitely taste the, the oak and the vanilla and the caramel, tiny hint of charcoal in there. So again, charcoal sounds like a weird flavor, but everything that I've drank that's like charcoal filtered, um, a lot of your Tennessee whiskeys do that, tend to bring out some kind of a sweet note uh, off of it. So like your, and this one kind of like a toffee-ish, um, but like a little fruity too, like an orange. Um, like your Jack Daniels stuff to me always tastes like bananas. So I don't know. Um, I don't know if the charcoal filtering or if this is even charcoal filter, it says refined has anything to do with that, but I'm learning more and more as I do more of these that I kind of like that. So, um, and this has a very creamy mouthfeel as well. Take your mind out of the gutter. Um, this is just really good, very balanced. Let me go in for one more sip and kind of focus on the finish here. Yeah. No spice, maybe a, a tiny hint of it, but it just fades away really, really quickly. Good creamy mouthfeel. Um, this is good, guys. This is balanced. It's, the only thing I'll say is it's lacking a little bit complexity of, of some of the other things that I've tried. So it's very simple to drink. Um, maybe another note or two might really, really tie this together, but this is really good. And by the way, this was, uh, I paid $38 for this bottle. So very happy with that price point. 
Um, this looks like it's small batched. So this is good. 38 bucks. You can't go wrong. Is this a must have bottle? Uh, depends, I guess if you're a wild Turkey fan, probably, but cause it does have that, again, that creamy kind of thick mouth feel that chewiness to it. Um, but just lacking a little bit of complexity. I'm gonna go just below that threshold. Let's go uh, 77 out of 100. Long Branch, 77 out of 100. You cannot go wrong with this price point. Very, very good. Let me know about Matthew McConaughey, I don't know. I, I just remember seeing his name or his signature on this bottle and now it's not, so I don't know what the deal is with that. But anyway, very good stuff. If you haven't tried it, check it out. I'm sure you have. That's a review.